If there's one thing most people can agree on when it comes to Sonic Forces, it's classic Sonic. Ever since his inclusion into the game from the very first revealed trailer, people have been complaining about him non-stop. And it's perfectly okay to do that, it's normal to think that way, you're allowed to be negative about a video game, you know. But in this video today, before I get sidetracked, we're going to be discussing why Classic Sonic in Sonic Forces is totally redundant. So without further ado, let's just get into this discussion. So the most obvious reason why Classic Sonic is really redundant in Sonic Forces is obviously because of Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania is a fully 2D Classic Sonic game. So why put Classic Sonic in a brand new modern game when we already have a new classic game coming in the same year. While this is pretty redundant, you've got to remember that Sonic Forces was probably being created before Sonic Mania was even a thing. So that's kind of understandable to why Classic Sonic is in Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania also coexisting with the game. And also the fact that, you know, Sonic Mania like makes Classic Sonic in Sonic Forces look like a complete joke because of the physics. It's like the physics in Mania are like spot on perfect, exactly what classic Sonic gameplay should be. Whereas what we've seen in Sonic Forces so far, and what people have been saying from the demo time that they've been playing, classic Sonic does not feel like the Genesis games. Which is a shame, but we all knew it was coming because he looks like he's the same as he was in Sonic Generations, which he was also differently controlled, he did not control the same in that game either, which is pretty stupid if you ask me, but yeah, that, I'll get that reason out of the way first, so don't focus on that too much, because that's not like the biggest reason why Classic Sonic is totally redundant. I think the biggest reason Classic Sonic is totally redundant in Sonic Forces is that we have two other playable characters that also have a lot, like a lot of 2D sections in their stages. It's like the modern Sonic Park Avenue stage, it was like 30% 3D, and then the rest of the stage was completely fully 2D. Now why the hell is this? I honestly don't know what they think when they're making these games and are thinking of new ways to evolve the Sonic formula. They just think to add more 2D because Sonic Colors did well and that had a crap ton of 2D in the game. So I just, I don't understand. And even the custom hero too, he has more 2D than modern. He's about 80% 2D and 20% 3D. So if we've got two other playable characters that are primarily 2D, then why the hell do we need a third gameplay style that is 100% 2D? Now, unless by a miracle, Classic Sonic has 3D sections in his stages as well, which will not happen at all. Then we're stuck with one gameplay style that's 100% 2D. We have Modern Sonic, who is around 60% 2D. And then we have the Custom Hero, who is around 70% 2D. So why are we getting a Modern Sonic game that is also a primarily 2D game? Why is that a thing? And like, especially with Sonic Mania, like even though I said before you shouldn't really focus on that too much, it's still another 2D game. So that's still two 2D games, basically, in the same year. Why can't we just like evolve the Sonic formula and just make him go fully 3D? I just don't understand. Sega are really scared to go into the fully 3D realm again, which I don't understand why, because even though Sonic Adventure and Adventure 2 get panned now, at the time, they were actually, I'm pretty sure they were huge successes. Now don't quote me on that, because I've not done my research on that, but I'm pretty sure they did not do bad. Even Sonic Heroes 2, Sonic Heroes sold incredibly well, and that's a fully 3D game. That's a game where they tried to make it classic styled, but still modern, and they did it pretty well actually, I commend them for that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. That's why Classic Sonic is totally redundant, because the game is going to be mostly 2D, and now we have a fully 2D gameplay style in the game. Now my friend Premi also did a video pretty similar to this, so you should totally check that out if you haven't already. He did that a while ago, so I thought I'd do another one. 
from everything we've seen so far. That was before we even knew that the custom hero had a crap ton of 2D sections in his stages. So yeah, thank you for listening to this guys. Make sure to let me know if you're starting to get really annoyed by the absolute like buttload of 2D in Sonic Forces, or if you're perfectly happy with it. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.